Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for this week's edition of the Sunbury Shores Art Attack. Since you can't get to know our local artists by visiting the gallery, we thought we'd bring some artists to you. So joining us today from the Sunbury Shores Front Gallery is our resident artist in the window for the week, Renata Roska Shelton. Hi Renata, and thanks for being with us today and for participating in our Artist in the Window program. Hi Angela, nice to be here. Are you up for a few questions? Absolutely. All righty, here we go. So first question is, how has the COVID pandemic affected your work, if at all? It has affected my work immediately uh, because I was doing very small pieces in my studio in Back Bay, but now this residency has enabled me to paint a huge, big picture. All right, so and that it, leads to my second question then. What's been the best part about participating in our Resident Artist in the Window program? Oh, it's just 100% different from being isolated and not having any really visual interaction with other people. I, I meet people here through the class uh, window, they wave. Everybody here has been so kind and they give me the thumbs up and encouraging nods and it's just been wonderful to my Great. spirits. Good. Um, so you have a very distinctive painting style. How would you describe it? Um, I, it's, it's difficult. People have uh, said to me that I paint like I'm doing a mosaic painting and I think that comes pretty close to it. In fact, my own sister once told me, well, because I did an actual mosaic piece that, oh, you're now finally doing the real thing, thinking that mosaic was what I should be doing. A lot of <laughs> your I work is painting. A, a lot of your work is very vibrant and colorful. Why do you think you're drawn to color? Uh, it's my personal style. I think uh, it's sort of the philosophy. If I'm going to do it, I might as well do it with a bang. <laughs> so I love bright colors. I like, uh, I think it's, it's in my nature to be wanting to communicate uh, uh, through bright colors. And it's really about not wasting time. You've been listening to some really great background music while you're working here at the gallery. How does music uh, influence your painting? Uh, it does influence it. It's like uh, a mood setting device. Uh, it also allows my thoughts to flow freely. It sets me into a loose mood. Yeah, you, you easily get crammed up, especially working for uh, uh, on big works. And so this is it's just a good way to sort of move and to get into the flow of painting. If you could come back to this world as any animal, which animal would you want to be? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, it would probably be a hybrid by now, but I used to say an eagle because I do like flight and the idea of being able to zoom over, uh, over uh, territories and things. Uh, not so much as a predator, but just being able to observe things from a different vantage point. Or uh, the, the other part of this hybrid animal would be a giraffe. Uh, you know, with a tall neck, he can kind of look, look above or down onto things. And that perspective somehow is, is nice. And, and I've been, I think same thing with large works. It's, it's a large scale perspective. It's larger than life. Uh, love that idea. How do you decide I'm not sure when what a... you would call it? Uh, an eagle giraffe of some sort. <laughs> How do you decide when a painting is finished? Ah, uh, yes, that's the million dollar question. A painting I've learned is never finished. Um, you decide at the time. Uh, for this week, this month, this project. And you just, I find I have to put a deadline on things and just call it done. And, and that's it. That does not mean it's finished. I might look at the painting 
you know, a month later, sometimes it takes even more than a month, and I see it from a whole different perspective, different mood, and things that that might have looked fine at one time seem unfinished, and I might want to go back. But I think it's also good to move on and to do new projects and move forward. You may have heard that uh, we might do, uh, do a calendar as a fundraiser, which would feature local people posing uh, uh, as intimate, famous nude paintings. What would it take for us to convince you to pose nude for our calendar? <laughs> what a question, Angela. Uh, I don't think this would increase the sales of your calendar. <laughs> so uh, I could see the reenactment. I, I definitely uh, wouldn't do the nude. I don't think, you know, Playboy could achieve that. I don't think you can with the calendar <laughs> to convince me to model as a nude. What does the name Renata mean? Thank you for asking that. It's, it actually is quite apropos in this current uh, environment of the pandemic. It means reborn or uh, uh, come to life anew. It comes from the Latin, re natare, means birth. And uh, it, it's a good kind of marker, signpost for my kind of entire life. I have recreated myself uh, sometimes. Um, and uh, so my name finally fits me. It took a long time to be, for me to actually grow up to my name, let's say, we'll call it that way, but uh, reborn, renewed. That's great, Renata. Thanks for agreeing to this interview and for being he here at the gallery this week. Um, oh, one last question. Is there somewhere online that the viewers can go to see some of your work? Absolutely. Uh, you can go to my website, www.renateart, Renate is spelled R-E-N-A-T-E, art.com. Okay, folks, that was Renata Roski shelton Please stay tuned for more Art Attack interviews with local artists. And in the meantime, stay safe and keep making art. Thanks for watching.